Shalom. Just come back I'm trying to turn on you. Because he know it that he had but a short time. You see that? The bag of that precept. The triumphant of the wicked is short. So he know that he had up but a short time. What he gonna do? He gonna tap into his power. The Lord bless him with it. This is what? The sword. Mm -hmm. You see, that's why he better come down with having a great wrath. You see? Because that's the only thing that he got left to defend on. You know when you know how Jake say we are back against the wall? <laughs> so when Esau back against the wall. That's all he got to rely on is the blessing that the Lord gave him, which was to destroy him. His same blessing was his same curse. You see? But guess what? His rulership was but for a moment. Got out. Go this is Obadiah 1 and verse 4, and it reads, and it reads, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou, as the eagle is what? A bird that known to fly the eye. The pride of the bird, man. All right, and guess what? Who symbolized that? America with the eagle. Go ahead. And it reads, though thou set thy nest among the stars. Yeah, the nest among the stars going to NASA. 
his space station program. Mm -hmm. All right, that's where you get the satellite from. He said it next among the stars. That's how you got the internet. That's how you got everything that's floating around the Babylon the Great. Go ahead. This will I bring thee down. All right, but this where the Lord bring him down. And you, and you can see that if you can uh, measure the time in uh, 1968, 1970, and between that era, you can see that America started to what? Decline. All right, America started to fall after that point when they lied and said they went to the moon, man. But as all they did was send their space equipment up there, man. But guess what? They was, they was proud for that. Because what he trying to see as he was as a god. See, uh, the so-called white man, he got a god-like complex. He want to be god. The white say he's sitting on the throne as god, claiming to be god. He want to be just like the most high, man. That's why you got the, uh, the MOTV. See, because he want to track every inch of move he do. Why? Because he's trying to be like the most high, which he can't. Uh, go back to that out. This is Job 20 and 6. Go in his head. This is Job 20 and 6. Go his excellency mount up to the heavens, yeah. and his head reach unto the clouds. Yeah. Yet he shall perish forever like his own son. See, he just said that I would die. This is what I went, bring me down. And guess what? He gonna get destroyed like his own son. You know what he's gonna do to the rest of the world. He's gonna be torn his own way. He's gonna win See? That's how the Lord gonna be. He saw evil. Go ahead, huh? And they which have seen him shall say, Where is he? Right, see? Where is he? Okay. He shall fly away as a dream. And shall not be found, and yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Exactly, that's what's gonna happen to Esau, man. These so called white people got our, our rude awakening to come, man. All right, you got the Job. Go ahead. This is Job chapter 14, verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, the numbers of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pay. Yeah, bring that back, man. This is Job chapter 14, verse 5. Seeing his days are determined. You see that? Seeing his days are determined. Who determined the so-called white man days? You have by Shem Yahweh Why? Because he didn't want to set him up. Remember the child up there with it and sweat. So the Lord had went number the, 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 the time, the date, the second, the minute, the hour of his last, of the so-called white man rulership. The Lord have done that.
see that? That's why America, Babylon, and Drake gonna be destroyed. And these motherfuckers are powerful, man. You know? Look at the uh the, the left hand side of the community, man. They prideful. You know? Look at the Esau, prideful. The Americans themselves, prideful. So what's gonna happen? The Lord gonna destroy their ass, man. Go ahead. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Yeah, because they, they're proud in what? They're mind. They don't give a damn. They know what the Lord said. You know? They know what's wrong and what's right. But what they choose to do, what they want to do. So for that, the Lord going to destroy you. No hand joining hand, you should not be on punish. That's right, bro. And he's not going to what? Be on punish, man. Go ahead. This is Psalms 37, starting at 12. The wicked plot up against the just and lashed upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. See what? For he seeth that his day is coming. Yeah, the Lord gonna laugh at him. He laughing now. You know? He's like, ha, I ain't really think he's gonna be able to accomplish that. You know, because his mind is good towards uh, uh, implemented uh, over the whole world. If you know what I'm talking about, Revelation 13 chapter, all right, 15 to 16. This is the so-called uh, white man plan. All right. Verse 14. The wicked have drawn out the sword and they have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy. Exactly. And when we go into this sword, it's many different types of swords, man. But this so-called white man have set up a Jake to fall into. Known as a trap. You see? Yeah, you, that again with, uh, you know, you got his technology. That's one of that's a sword. Yep. You know, uh, you got the media. Okay. Because the, the deception is his is his uh sword that he uses really spiritually on the left hand side. His spiritual power is deception on the left hand side. But he's he's really carnal. And once you can find out his plan, then he tries to come down with that military might, which is the ultimate sword that Yahweh Shah gave him in the ice. Okay. This is Psalm 37 and 14. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and eat and to slay such as be upright conversation. That's why I do a whole thing. Really, uh, towards the Israelites and their destruction. Okay, so uh, you got uh, what these different diseases that they uh, they control. They got patents on them. All right, the the, the shots. <laughs> okay, you got all uh, all the resources that they control. They use it to their advantage to uh, rule over you and oppress is a, a, a sword, you know, and when you're in the power seat, when you're in the seat, you're really not supposed to oppress the people, you're really supposed to bring the morale of people up, you're supposed to lift up uh, their uh, uh, morale, lift up their uh, uh, their economies, you know what I'm saying, that's why I say when the wicked are in authority, the people mourn, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, you got it bro. Their swords shall enter into their own heart, and their bowls shall be broken. Yeah, that's why I say the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands, because ultimately uh, those thermonuclear missiles that he think that has given him such power to continue to rule in the earth is his own destruction. Those missiles are really the army of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah. Those, those belong to the army of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah. See, the most high coming to repossess that sword, because yeah. he ain't using it right. Hey, that's why I say uh, he didn't kill it with the sword. Must, must be, be killed, killed with, with the sword. sword. Mm -hmm. See? Right. Yeah. It says, A little that a righteous man have is better than the riches of men and wicked. Say what? A little that a righteous man have. A little that a righteous man have. And what all we have? This word. This good old book. That's all we got. But it's better than what? It's better than the riches of many wicked. Right, it's better than uh, 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 Mayweather, you know, Joel Osteen, the riches they got, you know what I'm saying, Jay-Z, you know, all these celebrities, actors, you know what I'm saying, athletes. See that? What we have 
right here is way greater because this is the true riches. You see that? This is the true riches right here, man. But you can get what's going to prove it when, when Jacob trouble comes. You see? This right here is going to prove that this was the true riches, man. Because right now, the power is what? Money. What's going to be the power in that day? The word. Referring back to the movie, uh, 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 the book of Eli. We don't got to worry about a, uh, uh, a stack of hundred dollar bills. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. They worry about what? Safety, protection, food, storage. That's what they were worried about. So this little book that you got, the understanding that you got, is way better than having riches of this world, man. Remember, this shit, that shit passes away. Your car gonna get destroyed. Your money gonna get burnt up. Your car gonna get burnt up. Everything, you gonna lose everything. Came in this world with nothing. Guess what? You leaving this motherfucker with nothing. So your best hope is to put all your uh, uh, ducks in one basket, man. Mm -hmm. That's how about your mouth shot. We did, we did again now. Let's get that quick piece of the bag. This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty. Right, who is that, man? He said, he's going to our work. We are in, in poverty, man. All right? And, and, and I'd be loving to bring out uh, the word uh, ghetto and the etymology. You know what I'm saying? They, they cut a lot of people, man. If y'all want to cut somebody, and, and, and all you got to do is just type in the ghetto and the etymology. They said, well, Jews can go ahead. Real quick. This is ghetto in the etymology 1610s. Part of a city in which Jews are compelled to live. Exactly. And, 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 and I mean, uh, uh, Apostle Rumla, he had did a lesson like that, uh, what they were yesterday. Uh, he was explaining how Esau got the fabulous of the earth. And then he was showing how what Jacob, uh, Jacob uh, dwelled at. He's like, did you look like the fabulous of the earth to you? With Jake in Providence, Jake in the ghetto. And here it is, Esau living large, he got the fangs of the earth. We in a gated community, big ass houses. Earth tastes good, smell good. You see? But it said, where well, would Jews compare to live for, man? You're talking about the so called Negroes, man. Right. You say, to crowded urban quarters of other minority groups, especially blacks in the U.S. cities. You see that? He just told you straight up. Like, read that out. This is poverty. Uh, uh, this is poverty in the etymology, late 12th century. Uh -huh. And it reads destitution, want, need, or insufficiency. Who, who wants and needs? It's, who, who wants? Who do? Who in that state? Jay? You know, Israel. Let me say that. Israel in that state, man. You see that? Because it said that in the curses, right? That we were gonna go to the so-called white man, but what? We want some all things, man. We in a state of needing. He saw them not. And the fucking other nations that licked the wounds. They not, man. They not trouble as other people are. Yeah. There is insufficiency of money or goods. Yeah, cause when you strike a card, and ain't no none that we're gonna say. Insufficient what? Funds. <laughs> Jake ain't got it. Not like the so-called white man, the other nations got it. And then if you do got it, what, you, what did you do to get it? You had to do something wicked. You know? It's Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works in tribulation uh -huh. and poverty, right? But thou art rich. But who? But thou art rich. How are we rich? And we got the word. This, 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 this make us rich right here, man. There's so many ways you can go into that uh, about us being rich with the word, so many ways, man. But I know the black people are filled with say they are Jews that are not. And who, and who is that? The small heads, man. The wannabes, man. All right, the bastards, man. I just didn't say a bastard should dwell in their uh, ash dodge, man. All right? Uh, uh. Are the synagogues of Satan? Right, and you know that word synagogue means chief house. All right, like a headquarter. 
And it said a saint. Saint means what? Adversary. This is what adversity to the truth, man. That's how you know it. This is talking about us being rich in spirit and them being bastards, man, that's dwelling in our land. We don't even supposed to be there. It's James 2 and 5. Mark and my beloved brethren have not the most I chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, heirs of the kingdom, which you heirs of the kingdom. That's how you know I'm talking about the elect. Because this is the true riches. This is James 2 and 5. Mark and my beloved brethren have not the most I chosen the poor of this world. Right, chosen the poor. All right, chosen the poor for his what? He showed his power with less, man. Everybody looking for the most out to, to show his power with, 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 with more. You know what I'm saying? Like, we understand. You got a thousand men fight 20 men. We know who's going to win. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord intervenes. You got 20 men over a thousand men. That's, the, that's power. Mm -hmm. See, that's power, man. Go ahead, bro. Chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith. Yeah, the undesirable. They ain't know that the most high deal with the lowly and the meek. They are, they they look at it. What they uh, um, uh, yeah, what a rich man said. Because this how we was, we was brought up and, and, and deceived to, to, to uh, look at a man uh, out of appearance. You know what I'm saying? The past man got on the rings and the watches and them necklaces. You know what I'm saying? He ain't riding a Beamer or a Mercedes. Then he can't be a man of the Lord. You see? You see how, how, how stupid that look? How, how stupid that seems, man? They expect the man of the Lord to be all clean, shaved, face, and smooth, like a baby's ass. Man, that nigga, uh, 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 I don't even want to say the word, man. <laughs> that nigga ain't the man of the Lord, man. He got your face up. This is uh, First Corinthians chapter. I got it. This is a rock 13 to 23. Oh. You still get your... When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. Right, and that's, that's, that's how our people heard means of the Lord. But that's the wrong way to look at it. Remember, the Most High judged the inward man, not the outer uh, appearance, man. Mm -hmm. And that was going to get a lot of people laid, too. You know what I'm saying? Going off appearances. Even though, you know, like say, your first appearance, you know how they say in the world, going you know, to your first appearance, uh, what the first appearance uh, Last question, shit like that. But when it dealing with uh, the spirit of your high by your mouth shot, no man. No. You got me and all walks of life, man. Go ahead, bro. Every he said, when a rich man speaketh, every man holds his tongue and look what he said. They extol it to the cloud. Yeah, oh yeah. Joe Holstein said, or TV Jake said this, and they they Sharing posts on Facebook, you see it on Instagram, what, what a pastor said and shit. Status. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, status. Uh, you can say uh, some shit that with a word of damn. Like I can say uh, in Ecclesiastes 2 chapter, finally it said a great thing. Matter of fact, you can bag it up with this. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to finish this, but it's yeah, going to bag it up. Yeah. You, know, you still get yours, brother. But it says, uh, when a rich man speaking, every man holds his tongue and look what he said. They extolled it to the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. Right. So if you're a man that's got some type of social status in the world, when you speak, everything you speak is like gold to people. You know, they listen. And you can just be speaking straight bullshit. Straight bullshit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And nine times out of ten, if a rich man speaking, he's speaking to benefit his pockets. He's not speaking to benefit the spirit and the glory of your heart by shooting yeah, yeah, It's yeah, to glorify yeah. himself. He ain't trying to bring you salvation when he's speaking. Right. Right. Yep. You go ahead, bro. This is Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 6, and it reads, Folly is set in great dignity, mm -hmm. and the rich sit in low place. Right. So, you know, like uh, these sports figures, these actors. If they say something, the whole world follows after them. Right, okay. You know, idolize them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The father that they into. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
of this word because of the way wine it tells you in the pocket also wine makes a man merry yeah. happy makes you it's wine is a comforter right go ahead wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread and your labor for that which satisfies not uh, hearken diligently unto me and eat ye that which is good and let your soul delight itself in fact there it is uh, right so you're supposed to be Occupying in the true treasures of heaven, which is the real and not the This is Proverbs 23 and verse 23. And it reads, and it reads, buy the truth and sell it not. Right. Also wisdom and instruction yeah. and understanding. Yeah. There it is, plain. Buy the truth, sell it not. Because and how you buy? With your time. You invest in uh, we say study to make sure thyself a fool. Mm -hmm. All right, your diligence to make thy part of the election sure. You know, that's how you buy this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because you got a lot of guys that uh, sound good. And see, deception comes through not knowing the truth. It's easy to be deceived when you don't know what the truth is. You know, yeah. like. Jacob tell your ass anything. Jacob tell you that the Egyptians conquered America. <laughs> right? So, and, and I'm saying that because I was actually told this, right? Say so the Egyptians conquered America, Man. right? And named Memphis, Tennessee, Memphis. The Egyptians named Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee, right? So, if I didn't know the history uh, of, of how this place was actually conquered and who named Memphis, then I could have failed for that. Because that sounds good. Oh. The Egyptians named Memphis after Memphis, Egypt. But when you know that the uh, Native Americans was over here first, right, and they was conquered by the Spaniards, which that's in secular history, the timeline don't add up. So who conquered who? So did the Native Americans conquer the Egyptians? If that's your ideology, right? 
why would the Egyptians been speaking English when the natives that came over here weren't even speaking English? You see what I'm saying? So you 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 gotta know and understand the timelines in the Bible, how King Solomon who had uh, a navy that came over here. Yeah. You understand that Jacob was the former of all things. He really was, was in every land first. You know what I'm saying? Because even though it said that the Lord was going to give us the land of the Canaanites, originally in the beginning the land was ours anyway. Because Lord, who he made for uh, Adam, who he made Lord over all thy creatures, was Yahweh Shai, who is Israel. He is the Son of God. So we we was we was over here first. We we you know what I'm saying, and then we got caught. You know, so people don't know what's going on, and that's why the Lord says, "Study to show thyself approved, a workman that needed not to be ashamed." Rightly dividing the word of the truth. So when people come up to you and sound good saying stupid shit, you can just laugh. You're like, yeah, okay, all right. And then you can ask them a question. And when they say they don't know, you know you got it. So when I ask them that question, like, I don't know. So that conversation was over. Right. He's just being a bargain bird. Right. Right. Go ahead, bro. This Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. Lay, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust do corrupt. Right now, speaking on that earlier, with everything that you got on this side, it's going to be done away with. So the Lord said, don't store your treasures up on this side, man. Don't try to build your legacy on this side right. like Jake trying to do. Jake trying to make it in a rap game just to say, nigga, I made it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or graduate from college. I did it. You made it work and you did what? I'm saying you're still in captivity. So you're still a nigga. Still in Babylon. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you got a hundred million dollars, right? Liquid, right? <laughs> they just the Fed, the Fed just raised the uh, interest rate on the dollar bill by seventy five percent. You see what I'm saying? Yes, you ain't really got that. You ain't got that. Uh, assets uh, is what you really gotta have to really be worth something. So we talking about uh, nickel money or what you got in the bank. That ain't shit. You know, that's why I tell you that what? Uh, that what you, that's what you mean? A mouth eating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's corrupt. It's corrupt. Yeah, it's yeah, corrupt. Yeah. Hey, uh, what's his name? The drug dealer? Uh, uh, Pablo? Petey Pablo? Nah. Pablo I mean, Escobar. That's a rapper. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Pablo Escobar. Yeah. <laughs> Pablo Escobar. Yeah. <laughs> Pablo Escobar. It's not real money. It's not real money. And so when Jake makes statements like they made it, nigga, you got a well, nigga, you got land, nigga, you got cattle, right? You got gold, true and riches, even, and, and even still with that, what is tangible riches on earth, which right. really is physical riches on earth. If you don't got this truth, you don't got that because you don't even know what is about to happen to the world. <laughs> gonna destroy even the physical. So right. you got man, you got cattle, like you were saying earlier. If you don't got the money to pay your hollow shot to get on the chariots, your ass is doomed. You're doomed. You're doomed. You're doomed. Yeah, and a lot of people get caught up like that because they chasing that American dream. You see, that's what it is. Jake chasing that American dream. You're gonna get all the way to the last year in college with their master and, and get what? This bitch gonna get destroyed. So you did it off what? You did it off of nothing. Yeah, my mother's gonna be graduating. My mother's gonna be walking off the stage and this is gonna be. I'm talking about. You're a nervous bugger. This is gonna be going across the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, bitch, I'm trying to find her plan and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, dog, I'm gonna die with you. Oh, man. Jake's simple, man. Jake's simple. Jake's simple, man. It ain't hard to tell what time we in, man. Go ahead. 
where Mop and Russ do a corrupt, yeah. and where thieves break through and steal. All the time. You know how many uh, deaths go on just along in Memphis, bro? Every day? Man, I, I rode the, you know, Saturday right coming to camp. I rode down uh, Gaso. Man, don't you know, man? You been counting how many cars we broke up the by the glass and on the goddamn on the sidewalk? Ah, they broke in the cars, they broke in the cars in my job this week on the night shift. Yeah. And look, the cars are parked right by the field. Okay. Oh, yeah, they don't look down pool cameras around. Dude walked through the same gate that the uh the living trucks walked through. Oh shit. He cut the boat on the on the gate. Walked through. <laughs> walked right up. I'm talking about walked right up to where yeah. they go out yeah. and have their breaks right. and take their smoke. Smoke their cigarettes. And, and they cars be parked mm -hmm. right there. And he buzzed all the windows that was right there. Took guns, money, all type of shit. Yeah, see? Come on, man. <laughs> If I may add, it was a Jake, he was on live counting his money, and he had the window open. Jake just went in there and snatched it, yeah. and ran it off. <laughs> he, he, he couldn't do nothing. It was cold out here. He was like, man. Hey, if I can say this, you know, brothers get, get, get the precept or whatever he got loaded. I just want to say this, but how do you have a Or how is he prophesied to come as a thief? In the night. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the Lord is about to come and take the world right, by storm. Yeah, We're gonna be caught off we gonna be caught off guard. You know what I'm saying? He gonna take Esau Eden's riches, you know. Which is really his like this, which really is his which is his. He so he's taking it in righteousness. Right, get my shit back. Yeah, mm -hmm. let me get that. <laughs> hey, let me get that, man. Let me get that. Yeah, hey, run that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I you know. remember you, uh, yeah, I need that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey. You remember that? Yeah. Like on uh, Players Club. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the dude's name that was coming to get uh dollar bill? You're talking about uh, uh, St. Louis. Uh, yeah. St. Louis. Yeah, St. Louis. St. Louis. Yeah. St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. I need my motherfucking money, man. <laughs> run it, partner. No, run it. <laughs> run it, partner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, then, you see what happened to that place? She blew it up. Blew it up. Goodbye to me. That was the warning was, you don't want to get shot, get the fuck out. And that's what we tell you the same warning. You don't want to get destroyed. The fuck out of Babylon, huh? Mentally, mentally. Yeah. Or your ass gonna get caught up in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Set your affections on the kingdom of heaven. Yep. Yeah. Okay, the bug. If everything what I be had up to you. So this is the true riches, man. That's why I said store your treasures up in heaven as he can continue. Go ahead. It's Matthew six and twenty. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. When he's the mob, go a rust, do a corrupt. Man, what? That's a spiritual bank account right there. You know, that's a spiritual bank account. Store your treasures up in heaven. Go ahead. And where thieves do not break through nor steal. Yeah. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it's talking about your mind. So what is your, what is your mind uh, supposed to be uh, concentrated on? Like it says in 2 Peter, the third chapter. Uh, what manner of person are you to be yeah. in all uh, godly uh, holy convocation? Let's bring that out. Let's bring that out. Start it uh, 2 Peter 3 and 9. Go ahead, brother. This is 2 Peter 3 and 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, yep. and some men count slackness. Yep. Meaning, uh, they don't believe that the Lord is a man that is going to do what he says he's going to do. They don't believe the things that are written in the Bible about the Lord returning. People don't believe that the Lord is coming back. Right. All right? Because oh, that's the promise is the promise of his coming. That's like it's the scripture say, they say, where is the promise of his coming? Yeah. Go ahead. But it's long suffering to us when not willing that any should perish. Right, so it's mercy. We're in the season of mercy. Okay? And that's that appointed time of mercy is for the nation of Israel. And when that mercy runs out, he's going to turn on his wrath, right? Which we ultimately open up with uh, Joel uh, 20 and 5. See, these Edomites, they know that they're time to shit, right? And 
Hugging him. Uh, give Wilson a solid one. The second chapter, that whole thing, Lord Wilson, we can put it up and come back around the spirit. Because it also tells you, Wilson, the second chapter, the first verse, that he know that his time is short. Right? Because the Most High said what? He's going to shorten the days for who? The elect. The elect sake. Sake. So that towards us, who is it talking about? The elect. Go ahead. Not willing that any shall perish. Yeah. And ain't none of his elect going to perish. Go ahead. But they all shall come to repentance. But they all shall come to repentance. All of the elect are going to come to repentance. Right? Go ahead. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Yep. Mm -hmm. And thee which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. This is talking about the thermal nuclear destruction that's going to come upon the planet Earth and wipe out the nation of America uh, off the face of the Earth. Okay, right. go ahead. The Earth also in the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Right, so everything that Esau Edom has uh, set up in his kingdom is going to be burned up. All of his monuments. Right? That's why I say he, he's not going to have them anymore. Uh, right? Uh, and the Lord's going to come and set up uh, the kingdom of heaven. Right? Which is the house of David, his elect. Go ahead. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Right. What manner of persons are ye to be in our holy conversation and godliness? Right. So what's, what's your mind here? Understanding the judgment of the Lord. If you truly understand the judgment of the Lord, then your mind should be prepping towards his coming. You should be doing what? Go ahead. You shouldn't be slacking. You shouldn't be uh, holding off to get right. Oh, well, I'm, you know, I can worry about that later. Right now, I got to get this money. Right oh, no. Now I got to uh, go to school. I got I to gotta pursue my career. I got to pursue my career. You know, fuck you know, <laughs> Because there's some things that conflict with the interest of the Habashi and Hawashai for pleasure. And it cause you to be in uh, conflict, right? Or be in a controversy with the Most High, like it say in uh, Hosea 4 and 1, right? Yeah. But you doing these things, because hell, I don't give a damn. They told me to shave my beard and told me to line up. Shit, I'm going to get that job. I got to get my beard. I'll worry about the Lord later. I, 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 know, I know plenty of niggas like that. Verse 13, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for America to be destroyed. We're looking for it to be burned up and to be bur uh, beamed up out of here, as they say, abducted, right? <laughs> or raptured. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're going to be called seeds up into That's what we're looking for. And watch this place burn from on high. Rejoicing with wine, with your house shot, dancing, you know, like King, like King David danced mm -hmm. when he brought the uh, Ark of the Covenant uh, to uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Jerusalem, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. 
Nevertheless, we according to his promise look for new heavens and a new earth wherein the will of righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be. There it is. That's, that's how you get the riches. That's how you get the money to get up out of here. <laughs> Because we working for the we working for that penny. We're working for the kingdom of heaven. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And if I can add, because you know, uh Apostle Tahar and the apostles been going into how that penny represented a day's a day's wage, you know. But now we in a false balance system where <laughs> A day's wage ain't shit. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't do that with that, really. You know, you 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 ain't making barely uh, $150 a day. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And $150 a day is not a, not a norm. Especially but, when you gotta take all the taxes out of it. Come on. And that's getting taxed. But see, now, <laughs> we working for the Lord's penny. Right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it ain't gonna be taxed. You ain't got to worry about Social Security coming out. And that, and, you know that, what I'm and, 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 and that day is going to be eternity. Right. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Right. 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 What you need? What you, what, what, you know? what, what we going to need a 401k for in the kingdom of heaven? Right? Mm -hmm. what, what we going to retire from? <laughs> we ain't gonna be working. We, we ain't gonna be working. Right. Come on. Well, I bet, but, 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 but nevertheless, people uh, put up riches for uh, to leave it to some, some, uh, some somebody else. We gonna have to do that and, and, and have uh, a welfare in that old age. We ain't gonna get old. We ain't gonna die. Yeah, even the heathen ain't gonna have no motherfucking boy. Okay. Right. You know? No, it's like, well, Nobody get fired. We're not going to die, man. So we ain't going to have to worry about that. Exactly. Go ahead. Lord willing, we are, we are getting lit. But even, even the one that comes back in the kingdom, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm this, this, this earth is not going to be able to hold. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna, that's why I lost in my house and many mansions. We're going to have to go to other planets, other, other, other galaxies. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Have to expand I mean, you, out. You, yep. you, you can look and see just from here that there's a whole other world out there unknown to man. Even if you never saw uh, space movies and so called space expeditions, with the spirit of the Lord and what's written in the scriptures, we can just look up and see that there's a whole other. Oh, it's like when we was young, we always kind of knew, man, we really supposed to be able to do more than what this body is allowing me to do. Why I can't fly? Yep, yep, this is, yep. Why I can't fly? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why I can't run without being tired? Why I can't, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I can do it. I feel it in my spirit. I'm supposed to be able to do it. Yep. If I jump off the bed, I'm going to die. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. 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 Why I gotta die? You used to ask that question. Yeah. Why I gotta die? Why I get? Why I come in where I did live to die? Oh, that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But see, now we understand all. We got answers to all those questions now. But right. see, the people that's in the dark, the lost souls of our people, they don't got no understanding of why they live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like I say this, hey, the water y'all shot. The water y'all shot. We got the truth. Right. 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 This, this is Second Peter 3 and 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. That's what it is. That's talking about the day of deliverance. You're going to be found without spot and blameless if you stay diligent in tasting the coming of our Lord. Hey, that's that Revelation 14. Y'all got it, book. Mm -hmm. right there. Hey, make Some space for them two books. We gotta cut out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, you the king. Yeah, I will. Y'all go ahead, get it real quick. Be hey, stay right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do it right there. Scripture speaks about how we're not gonna be uh, confounded. <coughs> yep. 
Why? Because what? We trusted in the word. Yeah, one of the records. Yeah. This is Revelation chapter 14, verse 4. Yeah. These are they which were not defiled with women. Yeah. Me? Okay. Yeah. 
and you have to have the understanding of when to apply it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. We use evil for covetousness and covetousness, which is idolatry. Where you at? What verse you at? So you already got past mortified, right? Okay. You can stop there to get the word affection and then mortify. And then we can go to another piece. Of this affection in the blue letter Bible, it means to have understanding, be wise, to feel, to think, to have an opinion of oneself, think of oneself, to be modest. Not let one's opinion, thoughts just of himself. See, so you don't let your thoughts rule over you. The most high thoughts is what builds your actions. You know what I'm saying? The way affection go into what? A way you feel, right? So you can be uh, feeling strongly towards something and it's not right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the spirit tells you how to move towards it. That's wisdom. They say to be wise, right? Yeah. They say of himself, exceed the bounds of the modesty to think or judge what one's opinion is. They say to be a say in the they say what was that? In uh the Sirach. They say for many are deceived, Sirach 3 and 24, for many are deceived by their own vain opinion mm. and an evil suspicion have overcome the judgment. Go ahead. To be of the same mind, agree together. Cherish the same views and be harmonious. So harmonious would be one with all my shot and righteous judgment. That's it. We can drop it. That's the point. Mortify. This is mortify. say what wisdom maketh the man face to shine which really talks about his judgment so the judgment that you have you don't really got to say nothing and people that's of the world will gravitate away from you you know what i'm saying see, they see how you look like i hear one but in luke 21 and 15 that's right luke 21 and 15 he said he's gonna give us a mouth and wisdom instead of my absence can't gain say nor resist at the same time so that's why you'll see people like this uh evil might that just came over not too long ago right he was he was trying to really ear hustle mm -hmm. he came up and like we got this section block it's a three-way sidewalk right so it's like you can easily walk around but he's acting like he wanted to come through here mm -hmm. but then it's like when he 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 kind of heard what we was talking about and he seen us he, he went behind us you see what i'm saying he, it was like it was compelling him, but it wasn't. He knew it wasn't for him. You know, it's only for the elect, man. But go ahead, bro. You got more? Yeah, yeah. It also says, for like, back in the uh, definition, it says, worn out of an important, of an important old man to deprive of power. Destroy the strip Yeah, deprive the power of the flesh to rule over you. That's it. We can drop that. Go ahead. You got something? Go ahead, Thorn. Or right, you got something right now? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Anna. This woman stated, I'm going to start at 12. Therefore, brethren, we are devils, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if we live after the flesh, we should die. He said, We are debtors. Right? Read that part again from the top. Woman stated, 12. Therefore, brethren, we are definitely not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. Right, not to live after the flesh. So 
<laughs> you know, our debt is to the spirit. <laughs> we owe y'all by seeing how we shop. We in debt to y'all by seeing how we shop. Fuck your credit score. Fuck your uh uh whatever, your bills. We you you owe your how about seeing how we shop. Go ahead. Oh, you, 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 you got some more, you got it. Verse 13, for if you live after the flesh, you should die. But if you do the spirit, you mortify the deeds of your body, you should live. Yup, yup. Destroy the deeds of this wicked flesh. You know what I'm saying? This wicked flesh is what the Lord gave us ultimately to prove uh, to him in the spirit that we are worthy to be able to take flight, to be able to go into the, uh, to the heaven. You know Possess that great power. You see what I'm saying? That's why I say you made subject unto vanity. But anytime you made subject unto something, it's to learn a lesson. You're under rule. You're being taught uh, how to elevate. You know what I'm saying? By by uh, the lesson, by discipline. By discipline. Next, uh, this is uh, Matthew 46 41. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. But that's why we need Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah. They say through him we are more than conquerors. Right? And it say, when I am weak, ye are strong. Because it say, know ye not that the spirit of Yahweh Shah Masyah is working in you? Least ye be reprobate. If you're not of the elect, you don't know that, hey, the Ha'abashim Ha'abashim is the true source of power for life, for us to live, okay? To have true life. But a reprobate mind is on the shit in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and he said what? Ye are from beneath, I am from, from above. That's right. You are of the world. I am not of this world. And he said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. So when Yahweh Shah was speaking of himself being from above and, and, and them being from beneath, his elect are part of that, that body. His body. Because he said, we're going to be like him. Lord willing, we are those elect. So, uh, the true the members of the elect are not of this world, just like the homie Shah, not of this world. You gotta go, uh, Dawn, the brother that just read with the Yakima. So it's Dawn. Put subscribe to the next one. Yeah, he got you. Okay. Chapter 21, verse 34. And take heed to yourself. Let's be in time your heart be overcharged with some fighting. Right, which means when you go into a uh, surfing, yes, surf, surf, surfing, I think it's like surfing, it goes into uh, excess cares and the worldly shit. Really excess, you know? Because like the scriptures tell us, we are uh, to use the world, not abuse the world. So we have things and certain luxuries and leisures that it's okay to indulge in. But excess is when it becomes a sin, even if it's technically not a sin. See, because the Lord requires that we have no other God before us. And you can make anything you want a God. God means power. So you can give anything in the world power over you. Anything. You know what I'm saying? And that's when it becomes sin. I don't give a damn if you don't do nothing but eat fried chicken. It's, it's, it's lawful. But it ain't expedient for you to constantly eat fried chicken. Now you making that shit a god. I, I can't stop. I can't stop. <laughs> Bloody. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with eating. It's something wrong with overeating. Mm -hmm. Overeating is a suffering. Go ahead. And drunkenness and cares of this life is so that the day come upon you on the world, for as a special it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things. And it says also watch that you enter not into temptation. Right? And you gotta make sure you stand fine-tuned in the spirit. 
That's what a real warrior is. In the spirit and uh, your flesh. Again, your flesh gravitates towards the, the deeds of the world. Go ahead. That ye may be may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. There it is. Be able to stand before the Son of Man without spot and without blemish. Right? Blameless. <laughs> And how can you be blameless if you do all that you could do? Mm -hmm. Come on. You know, the Lord knows. So I did all I could do. And he know the one that slick slack and all that. Mm -hmm. Look at that way again. Mm -hmm. oh, you want to be blameless. Bro. I gave it all. I put my best foot forward. I gave it all I got. This is what I have. Okay. This Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, by Shema, by Shai. That you present your bodies a living sacrifice. There it is. Mortify the deeds of your body. So, you know, when we were under the uh, deeds of the law, right, where uh, when we sin, we had to do a work to uh, amend that sin. It was the blood of turtle doves and lambs. And you had to do a sacrifice, right? Mm -hmm. Well, now the sacrifice the Lord requires is for you to sacrifice this body. <laughs> that what killed Christianity. Because Christianity is just thinking just all about faith. What a works it. You gotta have works. You know what I'm saying? And the works is what we're doing now. I heard what? Making our body little sacrifice. The, taking uh, the Lord's laws and keeping them sacred is what sacrifices this body. Yeah. Keeping the Lord's laws is what kills this body. That's how you mortify the deeds of, of, of your body is by keeping the laws of the Most High. There's no other way to do it. Because this, this body is made to go against the laws of the Most High. It's like a, a, a fucking leech. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. This shit is horrible, man. These bodies are horrible, man. Kryptonite. <laughs> go ahead. That ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Hey, look up that word reasonable and we can take it out. pertaining to the soul. This is your reasonable service. So this is what you must do pertaining to your spirit and your soul. <laughs> to present yourself holy and acceptable to the most high. That's it. That's it. So one way or another, one Shalom, 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 Shalom,